Now we begin tonight with what is no doubt one of the biggest setbacks in, uh, yet for the Jubilee government. The High Court has in the last few hours nullified the 24.6 billion shilling tender for the supply of laptops to primary schools. The judges said the firm which got the contract did not meet the requirements. Now Cabinet Secretary Jacob Kaimeni says that his ministry will comply with the court ruling and immediately embark on a fresh tendering process. Sharon Mani has the details. Barely two weeks ago, the pupils at Mashungusha Primary School in Moranga County were a happy lot. 25 laptops were delivered to the school as a pilot project meant to monitor how the famed laptop project would take off the ground. Only now the government has to hit the backspace on the keyboard. Court judges George Kimondo, George Odunga and Mombingugi have nullified the 24.6 billion shillings tender for the supply of the gadgets that were at the center of Jubilee election campaigns. The matter went to court when the Public Procurement Board cancelled the contract awarded to Indian firm Olive Telecommunications, stating that the firm did not meet the financial requirement set in the tender document. The ministry had awarded the tender to Olive at a cost of 24.6 billion shillings, which the board found was 1.4 billion shillings more than the price quoted by the winning bidder before negotiations with the ministry. Olive then moved to court, seeking judicial review of the decision to cancel the laptop tender. The verdict today nullifying the entire process. The tender process which was conducted by the first interested party hearing ought to be and is hereby annulled and the tendering process is set aside in its entirety. The first interested party, if minded <coughs> to undertake a similar project, should do so de novo in accordance with the Act and regulations. But the government says there is no turning back. It's only fair that we respect what the courts have said. So what is the way forward? As far as the Ministry is concerned, we must sit down. I have a meeting with might and decide on the best way forward in terms of addressing <clears throat> this very important matter, taking into account the interest of the Kenyan child. The project was from the onset received with mixed reactions with critiques stating that it was a misplaced priority among the needs of Kenyans. What way forward for this embattled vision? What were the money allocated to it? It is a dream we think we should not give up on, yeah? however, however long it takes. Coming up with the, the new tender process or beginning again is not something impossible. And it doesn't take too long. But as I said, we shall look at alternatives. That's why people talk about plan B. In their ruling, the court cited intentions to promote equity and cost effectiveness in the tendering process. Down but not out is what the Education Cabinet Secretary says of the Stall Laptop Project, stating that the financial year is still young enough for the Ministry to start a fresh tendering process. The future of this promise that was received with just as much critique as excitement now stands to be seen. Sharon Omani, KTN, Nairobi.